Hello and welcome, Asi Jim. Obviously not in the hangar. Amazing view, but you will learn soon why I don't like this view currently as much as I would like it without this fog. Hello guys. Of course you read the title, you're here for the title. And you want to see me testing antennas, DJI antennas, once more. And since the DJI FPV stuff is working so exceptionally well, but also being such a mystery to all of us, I'm constantly wrapping my mind around what new methods to test better. And on my last tests, I crashed my drone. It still works, but it's unreliable, so I came up with another idea. Actually, I think it was FPV wannabe. Why don't you place your air unit uh, somewhere, use a fan, turn it on and walk away with the goggles and just note the bit rates. And that's exactly what I want to do today. I have a lot of antennas with me. And down there, somewhere in the fog, I remember the direction measured 2.3 kilometers away. And it has line of sight, I can show you proof. On my balcony I have a 3 or 4 meter high a tripod with the air unit on it. I've put the air unit on a 12 volt power supply which I can remotely turn on and off. It will be really interesting to see, I mean, this is water in the air, you know. And water is really an RF killer, so I expect either not to be able to connect at all or with very poor results. And really just in time, iFlight sent me Crystal HD with the, I think it's called Photo Bomb. It's also available in the carbon or in uh, camouflage styles. I will test this today as well. And down there I have the Maple Wireless left and right on the TX on the air unit. Okay, let's get this started. Um, I just wanted to present this beautiful sunlight in this shitty November fog. And here I have one of those $10 wireless uh, plugs. This now turned on the air unit down there. And I see something. That's amazing. Okay, I'm wearing the Maple Wireless in the recommended configuration with left and right antennas on the air unit and with left and right antennas here. And I hear my friends flying in jet down there. I will overlay you now the goggles images. We have 5 Mbit through the clouds. That's on 25 milliwatts. That should be, let me check here, that should be the right direction. And here I have like six or seven M bits. Yeah, and like 30 degree off, I'm at one or two. So the cone of reception is not incredibly good. And on 45 degree, I had a stop. Oh, it's uh, maybe it's almost 90 degrees. Then let me do one test. If I block, yeah, 0 0.8, that's really ugly. And if I cover the other, it doesn't affect it as much. I'm on 3, 5, 4, 3. So in all my tests yesterday, and this is one of the conclusions that I hope this video can, can give you, the left side is more important. Going up to 200. With 200, I see 20, 25. 20. Yeah. As I said, I will probably have this as an overlay now. Move to the side. 18, 11, 9, 8, 6, 4, 2, 
and it is 1.5 it's still there 0 0.7 1.6 1.2 does it drop 0 0.6 0 0.8 amazingly enough it didn't drop going back to 7 14 17 23 yeah, so at two and a half kilometers with fog and with 200 milliwatts you don't even lose signal if you look away from it but it's uncomfortable to fly okay now we'll swap from the maple wireless instantly to the three turn helicals from henrik the death race installing those three turn helicals or even the seven turn helicals is really easy 25 mbit recording started with 25 mbit pointing in the right direction but the fog increases I have 10 mbit let me do a full circle for you two oh it drops out I lost connection there of course so on 25 milliwatts you don't do a full circle looking away with those antennas but with none of the antennas I guess now you see I'm having 36, 38, 41 mbits, really good mbits. Let's do a slow turn around to get this out of the way. 38, 34, now it's 10, 3, that's quite ugly. What is this? Uh, that's like 50, 60 degree. 17, 16, 9, 3, 1, 6. Looking away, 1 megabit, 1, 8, 1, 4. Quite mushy. 1, 5, 1, 8. Keep in mind, 1.6 kilometers, uh, 2.3 kilometers. 2 mbit, 10, 23, 30. Okay, so we get more bitrate with the three turns already. So now my left antennas are pointing to the direction and I get around 40 megabits. 39, 38. Now I cover the left side, both left antennas covered and it's down to yeah, almost breaking up with 0 0.9. Even if I have good antennas here, no. If I move the good antennas in the right direction here, I still have only 4 or 9 mbits. If I cover just the right side, it doesn't drop as much. I now have 30, 38. Anyhow, now the left side is pointing to the direction of my air unit. I get good 30, 35 mbits. Cover it and make the right side look to the right direction and I get like shitty megabits two or three for me this is quite clear the right side doesn't help and it's even I pinpointed it down to only the bottom left antenna port is the simply most important at least on my goggles here so if I try to cover all the three except the one I get 33 megabits and I still recommend the three turn helicals as being more than enough range for most use cases you see that with 25 milliwatts I can be around 2.5 kilometers away with fog and still have uh, I might I would never fly with this amount of fog here I would never even think about flying like 50 meters into the fog because I know fog is not good for RF but it worked here. Recording on the goggles, 25 milliwatts, seven turn helicals, pointing them right. Front will point. I get 20 mbits as a maximum here on 25 milliwatts. I cover the right side, get 13, 12. 
I cover the left side and try to aim the right. Good. And I get only like three ambits. Such a crowded space here. Ooh, that's a big one. Let's do a circle. I will not be able to do a circle. See like on the 90 degree angle you get really shitty image and then it will break up eventually. 200 milliwatts, long horns, like 50 ambits. I see why it's not conclusive in many of those tests, the question between top and bottom, because the real question is rather left and right side. Man, this is exciting. How can you be so excited with goggles and fog? I don't know. It's just the way it works. It's really getting cold. Hope you appreciate this. Uh, greet my Patreon <laughs> sponsor now. It's like amazing, beautiful scenery. And I would love to do a long range flight now over the fog. Okay, now let's see what the stock antennas can do with the fog. Stock antennas at 25 milliwatts. 0 0.6 megabit. So of course with that much fog and only 25 milliwatt to pierce through it, that's not a lot of RF power. 200 milliwatts, we get like seven, nine, eight. That's not a lot. <laughs> you remember that with the three turns we got like 25. 15, 9, 10, 13, 10. It's not bad though. You can turn around pretty much all around. Yeah, those are omnis. If my head is in the way, I get like three or four. But I can do a full circle without any issue. So yeah, uh, fog, yeah, it, it's an attenuator, but still. 200 milliwatts, amazing. Let me swap these for the two RC Starbys and compare. So did I, did I ever do a size comparison of those two RC singularities versus the stock DJ antennas? That's amazing, isn't it? And it's safe to say that those little ones have the same performance as the big ones or better. They don't have more range, but they have better overall behavior. I don't know how to put it. Recording 25 milliwatts with two RC singularities. We don't see a lot of megabits there. 1.2012912. It's pretty bad. But it was also bad on the stock antennas. It's maybe a bit better, around one megabit. Funny enough, if I look all the way to the side, it gets better. One, one, four. Did I see more? Uh, two megabits. <laughs> 200 milliwatts on the transmitter. Transmitter is still left and right antennas. I get 12, 14, I saw 17 for short. 11, uh, Seven, nine, six, fifteen, twenty, eighteen, seventeen, ten, thirteen, twelve, four, one, six. It's really bad when my head blocks. Three, one, five, six, seven, thirteen. So we can do a full circle as well, of course. That's the true assis. A bit better than the stocks, but damn convenient. We, we already knew this. Okay, I have the fox here. Lollipops on. And since I have right and left antennas on the TX, I can also test those right hand polarized lollipops. And what do we see today with the lollipops? Yeah, they are around the same as the true RC singularities today. No, a bit better. 1.8, 2.8, 1.8. So, 
they are a bit further from the goggles. One three, two eight, one four. Now it's ugly. Yeah, but it's still all on 25 milliwatts down there. 200 milliwatts down there with the Fox years. What do I see? I can, I will show you all of this. It's 13, 14, 15, 16. It's quite nice. Man, those lollipops are surprising. 14, 17, 15, 19, 6, 3, 5, 9, 12, 12, 10, 11. Yeah, the foxes are not, not too bad. So check this out. This is the beautiful faceplate of the iFlight Crystal HD patches. And that's the magic inside. It's no magic. It's it's, it's quite possible that all those patches are created quite the same way. They look like the XE HDs. But their idea is kind of clever that they are hidden behind the faceplate and that you also get a new faceplate because my faceplate is already scratched up and this will be a nice colorful addition. So if you ever wondered, this is what it looks without a faceplate. I connected the bottom connectors, you could also mount the top but you cannot mount both patches on the left side as i would like to but it's okay 25 milliwatt around five six eight eight six oh point seven not i will not be able to turn all around lost connection recording the goggles so what can I tell you? Those are not bad. 200 milliwatts and 25, 26. 34, 33. 25, 18, 16, 9, 10, 10, 11, 4, 1, 6, 1, 8, 2. That's a bit bad there. 18, 19, 23. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I will go through all those numbers. It was already a very long video. I've tested a lot of antennas. I still like those three turn helicals for longer range. But I also like the look of the new faceplate, which really just came this, this day. If really fly planes and need ultra long range go, still go with the five or with the seven turn helicals if you want a good all-around package use the three turn helicals if you just fly bandos take those stubbies let's work lognitz lies hidden today thanks a lot for watching guys it's been a long video be sure to check out my new patrons gaff yourfpv.co.uk he has a shop uh, drone shop check out nice guy he also has a curry uh, takeaway shop uh, restaurant if you're in Sheffield region check out and order some food there and also thanks slinky FPV for being a new patreon you guys are awesome patrons make this work not possible but more more motivation just for me yeah hope you could take something out of this video thanks a lot bye for now